<laughs> hey guys, Antoine Victor here. Another little uh, studio demo for you here. Just putting the finishing touches on the San Francisco studio and I want to share a couple of things that, that I've discovered. Um, number one, no substitute for natural lighting. No studio lights here. There's nothing going on in here except for sunlight and the green screen behind me. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. The setup today, uh, the setup issue th that is that I want to talk about today is editing or producing while you're trying to do your event. So the problem that I've run into with a couple of live events that I've done with Wirecast here is trying to switch shots uh, or trying to turn my video on and off while doing my demo um, or writing my code or whatever it is that I'm, that I'm demoing that day. Uh, the issue becomes looking down at my keyboard, getting into think mode. You know what I mean? Uh, if you're writing code or you're cooking or, or whatever your show is about, if you're looking down and you have that look on your face like, I can't figure it out, or, it looks kind of like you're taking a dump. You don't want your viewers seeing that. So I decided that what I was going to do from now on is just leave the camera out on the whole time with my chroma key going, got my screen keyed up, um, but I have my camera set up away from my workstation. So now instead of having to turn the camera on to make a point and then turn the camera off to go back in the demo mode, I can just exit stage left, which is actually my right. So now I'm off screen and I'm sitting over here at my desk and uh, if I want to illustrate, for example, the features of IP config flush DNS. I could run that command and see that my DNS uh, resolver cache was flushed successfully. Uh, and then I might try to ping the site that I've been trying to ping this whole time. Oh, look at that. It looks like the site is up finally, like two hours later. Uh, and we can do a refresh and see if the page actually loads. Nothing to do with what I'm trying to demo today. It's a project that I'm working on. Site can't be reached. We're still having some issues there. So um, now I could walk back on screen and make another point about how this URL that I'm trying to get to here, the dev.constructioncreditcorp.com is not functional right now. And what we really need to do is go and check the file server or the FTP server and see if the files were successfully loaded and blah, 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 blah. But that's not what this demo is about. That's just a side project that I'm working on. Uh, another point that I wanna make here is the positioning of your output screen. Uh, I'm using a Samsung monitor as my uh, production out, my live out monitor. And that's positioned about two feet below the video camera. So you may notice that whenever I go to position my hand on the screen here, I'm looking down. Uh, I want to underline the site cannot be reached. So I'm looking down at my screen there to make sure that I'm in the right spot. And then I can turn around and say the site cannot be reached because I know my hand should be right about here. Um, the problem with this positioning is that the screen is so low that when I look at it, it's obvious that I'm looking down. So the best thing to do with the screen is to have the screen uh, about the same height as the camera and behind the camera. So I'm still making eye contact with the viewer while I'm pointing out whatever I'm pointing out or finding where I'm gonna position my hand on the screen. You can see I just look down there, right? Anyway, those are the couple of points that I wanted to make today. Notice I haven't done any production. I'm not switching the shot or anything. The, the chroma key is always on. The camera's always running. When I want to make a point or I divert the viewer's eyes away from the, the code or the activities that we're performing here and uh, really drive a point home, I just stand up from the desk and walk over here. And now I can go back and finish out this demo by saying thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Uh, to see what this channel is really about. But uh, I'm helping you along the way with our video studio production creation here. Thanks again for watching.